Hey guys, this is Shark Tutorials, and today I'm going to be trying something new. I'm going to auto-narrate over my video, and I wanted to do it this way so I could maybe talk about a little bit more of what I'm doing. So jumping right in, I'll show my discipline later, but I'm going to this side here to get the damage increase. And if you don't believe me, that's helpful. It, trust me, you'll see. And as you saw, I crocked my Blazing Bolt beforehand with the um, Sweeping Blasters going into my rotation here. And getting a huge 25k crit, so obviously that buff helped. I netted the Sork so he couldn't bubble, and now just continuing on. He's a healer, but he has a couple other healers, so I'm just continuing my DPS. Throwing down some AoE because there was a bunch of people there. And then just continuing. And then be ready for the biggest rail shot you'll ever see, because I'm um, just to take him out right here. Nice 18k. And continuing on. Good thing about range classes is you should be able to switch targets very easily. So it's easy to keep up DPS. And I'm just chasing this guy down, because I might as well, he's going toward the pylon anyway. And just chasing them down. Nothing special here. Just um, interrupted his heal, and then with a the couple of big crits, finished him off. Your objective as a DPS should be to kill everyone as possible, but this stealthy jumped me, so I quickly threw a net on him, rocketed it out, and then started up some DPS on him. So I'm going to chase this guy down. So hopefully our team can cap the one we just had. Yep, so we double capped and now I'm heading back to mid. And so I see one guy right away, so I'm building um, stacks of supercharge with the uh, Koto shot. He got a stun off, but I got a tracer missile, so I got a uh, uh, priming shot, so I got a tracer missile right here as I come out. So my position in here is off to the side, not um, right in front of the doors so that I could get pushed off, but then I, as you saw, I failed to push him off. So a quick rocket out gives me a time to catch up, and then I can use my mobility and my DPS to deal with him. Root on the rocket punch, so I can hit off, uh, dodge my rail shot, but I got the tracer missile. And then blazing bolts finished him off. My other guy was going to capping and I felt like doing some more DPS. So building stacks of supercharge with Kulto Shah as I move back into the mill. Saw the save reflect, but then it ended, so I paused a little bit there. Going off to the side now, so I'm not directly in the middle, and I have a greater line of sight. I, the healers were all on top of us, so I knew that I could be a little bit more risky in my position. Again, continue not to get the kill on the um, sim. Being very mobile because again they double capped us. Popped him out with the stealth scan, root on the rocket punch, and then 19k heat seekers to finish him off. Push back, and then some more DPS to finish him off. Going here to get the healer before he can come. Providing DPS so he's not going to be coming next to him. A stun to stop the healing. Building more stacks. Get a nice rail shot. And then I see these other guys going. So I try to distract them as much as possible. But then when they are all over me, I rock it out to get away. Through a heal and a shield on myself. And then continue DPS. At this point, it's very important to watch the uh, pylon for stealth cappers, so although I'm DPSing, I'm always looking over my shoulder at the pylon as well, out of the corner of my eye, so you can um, make sure no one's sneaking behind you. 
I just popped a sim right there because I realized I didn't have one and the way this game was going it looked like I could have a pretty high chance for DPS. Threw a net on him and some DPS so he couldn't escape. And then DPSing as I move away so I can get to it a little bit quicker. My hydraulic overrides that I popped early allowed me to uh, avoid the pushback and so I could get behind them and DPS him. Going to the end to see what's happening and just holding my ground. You don't want to run too far out unless somebody stuns you and then gets back in, but I wanted to throw some DPS out there just in case. Rocket, I've got me in there safely, and it looks like we, yeah, we got all three of them with a bunch of different pushbacks, so that was good. Continuing DPS on this guy, chasing after him a little bit. As you can kind of see, that this is um, usually a bit more one-sided than most of my games are, but because I got some really nice numbers at the end, I wanted to share it. And hopefully you'll be able to see like a good pushback there allowed me to get away from that power attack and force him on somebody else. I'm keeping up constant TPS on the healer, although there's multiple healers on their team. Um, my team's DPS is usually good enough to uh, get around that. Unfortunate stun here, but when you're stunned, make sure you're swiveling your camera so you can um, get your next target right away. Rock it out and um, hydraulic override so I can get right on the pylon. Netted the um, assassin because they're very dangerous if they can get around a target and then getting some more DPS on. No one's really attacking me right now which is great and a terrible mistake because if you let uh, Arsenal work three cast that's one of the stupidest things you can do. Threw a stun on the healer and then continuing to attack him but he has another healer so I'm not really getting any more. I saw a group there, so I threw down some area, but we okay, mostly go here. I'm staying mobile and hard to get, so the melee classes have trouble um, keeping up with me, and they would rather go for other classes, because um, one of the best things you can do as an arsenal mark is just make yourself not worth it to attack, because once people start attacking you, it's when you start running into trouble, so... Also, it's a pretty good idea to attack the people that are more um, objective-oriented, like the one um, operative that went after the my teammate capping the pylon. Make sure to focus fire on him, so next time you'll be less enthusiastic about going for it. It's also good because if you can kill him before he reaches it, like we do right here, we actually get, we're able to cap a pylon because he, everyone was too focused on staying alive to check behind them. So that was pretty good work by our team, but alright. So again, just you can stay really mobile and keep doing DPS. I throw a net on him so the power attack can't jump to me. So that's game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was certainly a lot of fun to play because when you have a bunch of sage healers or sword healers, you have pretty good survivability. I got over 3k DPS, which I don't think it was a first, but it's definitely an achievement to do. I'm not geared half as well as I'd like to be, but um, yeah, but it was it was a good game. As you can see, the big 25k hits always good for these this class because um, it just shows that we're doing our rotation right. Um, so yeah, uh, please tell me if you guys actually uh, enjoyed the audio, um, because I can do it or just never do it again if you guys don't like my voice or the style. And I can go back to doing the uh, written commentations on the uh, page like I usually do. But as always, um, please like and subscribe. Um, it really is good encouragement and helps other people see the videos. So if I helped it at all or that you thought it was entertaining, please help me out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.